Come and listen, listen to me, listen to my A B C, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C. How many bubbles can you see? Let's have a guess. Maybe seven. What do you think? I'm guessing first. I think seven. Hmm. Maybe a few more. That's a good guess. Let's count them to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're so close, but you were nearer. Well done. Good guessing. Our theme of this session is bubbles. We're going to have a look at some sounds in bubbles next. See if you can say them when you see them. Here we have some bubble sounds. Can you hear the bubble sounds? <laughs> you can. But can you see the bubble sounds? Yes, on the board we have some sounds and we're going to have a go at reading the sounds that we can see in these bubbles. Let's have a go at this first one. Well done. My turn. Oh, your turn. Fantastic. How about this little one? Well done, my turn, P, your turn, P for pop. How about this one? Well done, my turn, W, your turn. Fantastic. How about this trigraph? My turn, air, your turn. And that is what bubbles are full of. They are full of air. Let's take a look down here. Oh, we've got two joined together here, but this is not a digraph. They're not in the same bubble. They're in their own bubble. This is one that we sometimes need to check when we're doing our reading and writing. So this one is a, your turn. Well done. It's a B for bubble. And this one? Well done, it's a D for drum. Do you remember for this one, I sometimes say it's like the bat and the ball. The bat comes first and then it's the ball. But you could think of it as the bubble wand and then the bubble. Looks a bit like a bubble wand and a bubble stuck to it. So B for bubble and D for drum. Let's take a look at this last bubble down here. Oh, I think there's one more as well floating over there. What's this digraph? Well done, it's f for phonics. It's a digraph. F. And there is, there's a little bubble over here trying to float away. What's this one? Well done, it's an mmm. My turn, mmm, your turn. Brilliant, well done, look at all those bubbles. Fantastic. You were so good at saying those sounds in bubbles. Let's see if you can spot the tricky words in the bubbles next. This time I've caught some tricky words in my bubbles. Should we have a go at reading them? Well done stars, this time our star words are bubbles. And this one is were. My turn, were, your turn. Oh, there's one in here. What's this one? Well done. This is there. Over there are some bubbles. There. Any more? No, no, no. Oh, here's one. Do you remember this tricky word that Scott caught in a bubble? Well done. It's out. My turn. Out. Your turn. Brilliant, and I've had an idea. For those empty bubbles, how about we have a go at writing 
our tricky word of today. So the tricky word that we're going to have a go at writing today is this one. This is R. Are you going to blow bubbles today? R. So we look at it. We say it. R. We cover it. And we have a go at writing it. So I'm going to have a go at writing it in this bubble. So R. A. R. E. And I'm going to have a go at writing it in this bubble. Here we go. Ready? A. R. E. And I'm going to have a go at writing it in this teeny bubble. Oh, I'm going to have to hold my pen with really good control for this one. A. R. E. And I'm going to have a go at writing it in... Oh, I've got the two bubbles joined here. I'm going to write it in the bigger bubble here. A. R. E. You want me to write it in this one too? Look how tiny it is. Okay, I'll try my best. Here we go. So, A. R. And E. So how many did I write? How many R's can you spot? How many tricky word R's can you spot? We've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's see if I did it correctly. Here goes. Yes for that one. And yes for that one. Yes for that one. And yes for those two. Yay. So that was the tricky word. Ah, oh, well done if you had a go at home too. Well, you can't get better than a bubbly bath. Look at all those bubbles. But inside this bubbly bath are some fish with some bubbly words. Let's see if we can find them. Let's take a look at the first one. What have we got here? Oh, rub away those bubbles. Hope it doesn't rub away the word. Here we go. Oh, let's take a look. We've got, you have a go. Mm. And my turn. Soap. Soap. Well, you definitely need soap to make bubbles. Oh, let's take a look at this next one. Here we go. Give it a rinse. You have a go at this one. <laughs> Can you see the bubbles rolling off of it? Well done. Foam. Foam. It does look a bit foamy in here, doesn't it? Look. It's like a foam, isn't it? Let's see if we can find another one. I can't see any, actually. I'm going to have to really have a fish around there. There we go. Here's one. Oh, you can definitely have a go at this one. That's right. Fun. 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 Playing with bubbles is lots of fun. Well done. And let's see what this one is. Oh, look, it's a trigraph that is also a word. And it's definitely to do with bubbles. Can you remember what this word is? Well done, it's air. And inside a bubble, there is air. Fantastic, well done. I think there may be one more. Let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. What's this word here? Well done, my turn. Float. Float. Well, these bubbles are floating on the top of the bath water. Let's see if this word floats on the top. Oh, it does. Look, the fish is floating on the top with the bubbles. There's one more word. Shall we see if we can find it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. You can definitely do this one. Have a go. Well done. It's pop. 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 When you touch a bubble, see if I can make one pop. 
it pops. Pop. Yes, it popped. Pop, 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 pop. Pop. You'll see behind me that I've added a word to those bubbles. And it says, yes, it says bubbles. Bubbles. I've put that up on the board because it's not as easy to sound out. And we're going to have a go at writing a sentence about bubbles. So you may want to use that word that's on the board to help you. We're going to have a go at writing about what bubbles are like to play with. And I thought, well, I love the way that bubbles float in the air. And we've just seen the words float and air. So I think we could have a really good go at writing that sentence. Bubbles float in the air. But because the word bubbles comes first, the B is going to need to be a capital B because it's the beginning of the sentence. Bubbles float in the air. Are you ready to have a go? Fantastic. So grab your pen or your pencil and your paper. I've got my paper here and I'm going to have a go at writing the same as you. Bubbles float in the air. So I'm going to start off with my capital B for bubbles. B. And then I know I can hear an A. Uh, B. A. Uh, so I don't need to look. B. A. Uh, B. Bub. Now I can hear an U uh, next, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking it may be another letter before the U. Uh. So I'm going to check. So I've got Bub. Ah, oh, I need another B. Bub. Now I need my U. Uh. This is the bit where it gets a bit tricky, so it sounds just like a S, but you've got an E on the end of the word bubble. So bubble, and then you add your S, because there's more than one. Bubbles. Don't forget your finger space next, because we're going to write a new word. Do you remember what it was? That's right, float. So float. <sighs> uh, oh. It's a digraph. Can you remember which letters make O? Yes, well done. It's an O and an A. So we've got fl o -t. Float. Now I've run out of room on my paper. I can't fit in any more words here. So instead of squeezing them in, in that little gap, I'm going to move to the next line down. So bubbles float in. Oh, I know that one. In... The, I know that one too, T-H-E, T-H-E, T-H-E spells the. Bubbles float in the, I need another finger space, air. And that's the trigraph air as well as the word air. So that's easy for me to remember. Air. And what do we need when we finished our sentence? Well done, a full stop. Here we go. That's my karate punctuation, a full stop. Here we go. So, bubbles float in the air. Bubbles float in the air. Well done, everybody. Fantastic sounding out. I've got some space here. I'm going to use that space to write another sentence about bubbles. Playing with bubbles is fun. Do you agree? Me too. And we've seen the word fun today, so we're going to be able to write that word. And we've got bubbles on the board to help us. Playing with bubbles is fun. Playing with bubbles is fun. So our first word is going to be playing so we need a capital P for playing, because it's the beginning of our sentence. So let's start there. Now I'm going to start my sentence on the next line here. Okay, because I can't fit playing in here. So playing P. Uh. Now I can hear A in playing, and it's the A-Y that you need, because it's from the word play. And A comes at the end of the word play. 
So we need a y for our a sound. And then we need to add on the ing, the ending ing. Play ing. So no finger spaces, we're just going to carry on. So play i, ng, ng. The digraph, do you remember what it was? Playing. Well done. You leave your finger space. I'm going to have a go with. So, and it's only the w on its own for with. We don't need the H there. It's not a digraph. So, w, i, f. Only time you're allowed to stick your tongue out of the teacher. <laughs> Playing with. Now we need the word bubbles. And if you need some help, don't forget it's on the board behind you. It's also in your sentence from before. But this time we don't need a capital for bubbles because it's not the beginning of our sentence. It's in the middle of it. So playing with bubbles. B. Uh, B. I'm just going to check it. Yeah. Two of those I need. Bub. Bubbles. Playing with bubbles. Finger space is... Playing with bubbles is, finger space, playing with bubbles is fun. And this time it's only a f we need, it's not the digraph for f. So playing with bubbles is fun. I need a full stop. Ready? You show me and I'll show you mine. You ready? Here we go. Well done. Look at all that writing. Playing with bubbles is fun. There's my full stop. We've got two sentences there. Two ideas about bubbles. Bubbles float in the air. Playing with bubbles is fun. I wonder whether you could write a third sentence. I haven't got any room, but I have got more paper. So I'm going to go and have a go at writing another sentence about bubbles. And I think I might try and use one of the words that we fished out of the bubbles. Maybe the word soap. Maybe I could say how bubbles are made. Maybe I could say about how they're coloured. They look like rainbows. See if you can write another sentence about bubbles and then that would be that you've written three sentences today. Well done. Fantastic sounding out today. Really good reading. I'm bubbling away with pride for you. <laughs> I'm very proud of all of the work you're doing with your phonics. I'll see you soon.